final season of Dexter. I mean, how many times did you guys actually change the final script? Were you guys locked in on that? You know what? This is so loud, I cannot hear you. Okay, well, how, how many times did you change the final script? Were you guys pretty locked in immediately? No, we have always known what the final script would be. And we've known for two years the specific beats. And Scott Buck and Manny Cotto knocked, knocked it out of the park in the first draft. Wow. No. Was that a little bit bittersweet then? Because that meant it was actually over. Because I've heard future runners no, rewrite a lot. No, bittersweet. It felt right because it's what it always should have been. And the fact that they nailed it and it had all the emotional resonance that I had always hoped it would have. I, I, I was, you know, teary and emotional, but felt, thank God we did it. That, that's definitely the best feeling to have at a series finale. What can you tease about the journey these characters will be going through in these final two episodes? I know you'll have to be vague, but what can you tease? For the last episode, you know, Dexter, who is now very much in touch with his human side, and as we all have hesitation and worry and, and anxiety. And for one moment, Dexter hesitates should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? In that one moment of hesitation, uh, Saxon feels foolish. Right. And Dexter, when he embraces her at the end, you can tell from that, like, Much? Um, I, it's, it's, it's okay. Sorry. No, I understand it's a very tricky thing. It's, there's it a lot is. of 